So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral you see for the constant of integration. And we're given the integral of sine of 2 pi times t of dt. So the first thing that we want to do is find out what we're going to use to represent u, right? Because we're doing u substitution. And so in this case, the only thing we can really use is what's on the inside of sine. So we're going to set u equal to 2 pi t. So the next thing we need to do is find the derivative of u, uh, which is just the derivative of 2 pi t. So the derivative of 2 pi t is going to be just 2 pi. We have a constant times our variable, so it's just the constant out front. Uh, but then we got to multiply it by um, dt, right? Because you got to add that after. So then now what we need to do is solve for dt. And so we can do that by just dividing both sides by 2 pi. So we're going to get that dt is equal to du divided by 2 pi. Now that we got that, what we want to do is rewrite our integral. So here's our integral, and so what we do is we want to write sine, and then we're replacing um, whatever uh, u or two pi t, right, which is our u. We're going to replace it with u, though. And then what we want to do is replace dt with what we solved for. So in this case, we found it was uh, du over two pi. And so what we can do here is move the two pi out front. So if we go ahead and do that. We'll get 1 over 2 pi times the sine of u du. And so now we got it in this form. What we got to do is take the antiderivative of our function on the inside, and then we're just going to plug in what u equals. So the antiderivative of sine of u is going to be the minus cosine of u. If that's the case, then we just got to multiply by our constant, right? So it's just minus cosine of u, but then we're multiplying by 1 over 2 pi. So it's going to become minus 1 over 2 pi times the cosine of u. And then what we got to do is add plus c whenever we take an antiderivative. So we have this. And now all that we got to do is replace u with what we solved it for, or what we chose it to be, so 2 pi t. So if we just add that in, our final answer is going to be minus 1 over 2 pi times the cosine. And then we replace our thing with u, so 2 pi t, and then plus c. So this right here is going to be your final answer.